Mario is perhaps one of the most recognized video game icons of all time. And that could be mainly because they packaged each Nintendo system with the game Super Mario Brothers. It quickly became one of the most popular games on the NES, spawning many sequels released in the following years. But when you line up all the Super Mario games in order, one of them just sticks out like a sore thumb. And that game is Super Mario Bros. 2. Now, I know what you're thinking, that I'm going to sit here and attack Super Mario 2. Well, before you start sending your hate mail, just hear me out. Now, I don't really hate Mario 2, but when you compare it to the other Mario games, this game just has ass written all over it. First off, there's nothing remotely familiar in this game that was included in the previous ones. There's no coin boxes, no Goombas, no Turtles, and worst of all, the ending boss isn't even King Koopa. Instead, we are treated to a whole new cast of goofy and oddball characters. Things like Sniffets, Shy Guys, and Babams. And the real shit shocker is that the villain of the previous game has now been replaced by a fat frog named Warp. This makes no sense whatsoever. Now when you start this game, you'll have the choice of picking between four different characters, all with their own special abilities. Mario is the regular fighter, Luigi is the high jumper, Princess Peach can hover in the air for extended periods of time, and Toadstool, well, he's pretty much worthless. Once you select your player, it's time to start the game. And you do so by falling from a door in the sky. Exactly how a door got up there in the first place is way beyond me. But once you land, you'll notice that the gameplay has been totally altered. First they did away with the ability to smash your enemies. Instead, you'll have to pick them up and toss them at other enemies in order to kill them. Secondly, this game is only a one player game. It's totally different from the original in which you could play two players. Mind if I play? Sorry man, this is just a one player game. Well, that sucks! Another thing that just pisses me off is the game starts you off with a two heart health meter. And every time you get hurt, they take away an entire heart. Now, I wouldn't mind this so much, but they make it very hard to replenish your health. In the first Mario Brothers game, it was really simple. All you had to do was just pound away at coin boxes until you ended up finding a mushroom. But with the second game, they decided to make things much harder. It's only after you kill a certain amount of enemies that a heart will float up from the bottom of the screen. Well, big fucking whoop. Doing it this way is just stupid. And remember that invincibility star? Well, yeah, they pretty much fucked that whole thing up too. Instead of now finding the star, you'll have to go around and collect five cherries that are scattered around the level. And after you've collected that fifth cherry, you gotta wait for it. Ugh, look at this shit. Could it move any slower? I can take a shit faster than this! Finally! And while we're at it, this game could really use a lot more power-ups, too. Some spots of this game are so overcrowded with enemies, it's insane! But luckily, there are a few places in this game you can hide so enemies can't get to you. Oh, come on! He walked right through the fucking cactus! You know, shit like this that just makes me go from zero to pissed off in 2.5 seconds! Now once you reach the ending of the level, you're usually greeted by this big dopey pink bird that shoots eggs at you. The first one you come to is pretty easy to kill, but you'll meet a lot more of them as the game advances, and they become harder and harder to defeat. During the course of this game, you'll end up fighting over 15 of these fucking birds, and I swear by the end, I just want to reach through the screen and beat the shit out of this bitch! GET OVER HERE! At the end of the game, you'll finally meet up with the last boss, Wart, who ends up just really being a pushover. All you have to do is throw vegetables at him when his mouth is open, and he'll choke on him and die. And yet again, giving kids another reason not to eat their vegetables. After winning, the game then switches over to Mario who is in bed, and it turns out that he has just been dreaming up this entire game. You know, I wish I was dreaming up this entire game because it fucking sucks! Compared to the other Mario games, this one's the worst one of the bunch! This one's the worst one of the bunch! 
Now, if you think this review is over, then think again. Because a few years later, Nintendo released a game called Super Mario All-Stars for the SNES. This was a collection of all the Super Mario titles for the NES, which included giving them new backgrounds and music upgrades. These games were Mario 1, 2, 3, and a bonus game called Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Lost Levels? Wait a minute, there are Lost Levels? Where on earth did they find these things? And how exactly did they become lost in the first place? Well, the title is very misleading, because after doing some research, it turns out that this game is in fact the real Super Mario Bros. 2. Released only in Japan, this game continues where the first one left off. All the same enemies, power-up items, even the maps look the same. This game right here is the perfect predecessor to the first Mario game. But with that being said, we are now left with the problem here. If this was the original Mario 2, then where the hell did our Mario 2 come from? I mean, games like this just don't appear out thin air. What the hell? This mystery is very confusing, but we must get to the bottom of it. And after doing even more research, I found something that is guaranteed to flip some shit. Years earlier, a game was released called Doki Doki Panic. It started off with two kids getting pulled into a book by a green hand, and the heroes of the game going in after them. Now, the introduction may not look familiar, but once you start the game, you will be amazed. Holy shit! This looks pretty damn familiar. In fact, it's the exact same game! And we're not just talking about copying the layout of the levels, everything has been stolen. The enemies, the music, power-ups, everything! If you compare both these games side by side, you'll see it's the exact same video game. Ugh, unfucking believable Even the characters in this game have the exact same abilities as the characters in Mario 2. I mean, look! Here's Mario, Luigi, Princess, and yeah, even the worthless Toad. Now, I will give them the benefit of the doubt, because they did change and upgrade a few things from the original. Like, instead of turtle shells, you pull out weird looking heads. And the water flows a lot faster in this game than the Mario clone. But even with that being said, what the fuck? These two games shouldn't have anything in common. It's unclear as to why they copied it in the first place, but many have speculated that the real Mario 2 game was just too much like the first one. And I guess that's understandable, because having two of the same thing could get stale and repetitive. Yep, stale and repetitive. Now, I was never a big fan of Super Mario 2, but a few years ago, they released it again, and this time for the Game Boy Advance. Super Mario 2 was given a complete makeover, and the end result is amazing. I can honestly say that for the first time, this truly feels like a Mario game. They totally revamped all the levels, included a lot more power-ups, mixed it with some interesting enemies, and now finding hearts to replenish your health is so much easier. So, now that we have the newer version, we can now destroy the original. That's exactly what I was thinking. What the hell do you think you're doing? Face it, your reviews suck. I'm taking over and destroying the original. But you can't do that! <laughs> just watch me. Time for some flower power! <laughs> what?! Whew! Well, that was a close one. Where am I? Well, well. <laughs> Looks like I have another minion to torture. <laughs> I'm getting you for this! Ah! 